Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Pastor Kim's Corner of Power. And yes, it's me, Pastor Kim. Uh, let me start by saying I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I hope everything went well for you. Excuse me, I'm um, home this morning. Wasn't feeling my best. And um, so, yeah, I'm home. Actually, I was in the emergency room from about four o'clock yesterday until about three o'clock this morning. Totally exhausted, but to God be the glory. I haven't been on doing my morning um, word lately, but um, I'm back on track. <clears throat> you know, it was the holidays and I know people were busy and um, so uh, I, my goal was to do it yesterday, but I was running late. And so you guys know once that bell rings, I'm done because I'm on the clock. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have my morning coffee here. It's probably backwards, but it says blending is my cardio. And so... um have you ever been going through some things? Like I just feel right now, and it's not, I'm not in a bad place, but I'm going through some things. <laughs> things that are um, beyond my control. And so, um, you know, I got a little worried initially and a little upset, but, and that was within, you know, but, um, the scripture that I'm giving you today, I know I've probably given it to you before. Sorry. I've probably given it to you before. But this is for me, and uh, so I'm going to share it with you. It's just ringing down in my soul. You know, every time I start thinking about some things, every time I start having a little anxiety, getting a little, you know, worried or antsy about the things that are going on then this uh, passage keeps ringing in my ear. I don't know about you, but have you ever had like, you know, some things that are going on over here, things that are going on over there, like something's going on in the home, something's going on on the job, something's going on with you personally. I mean, it's just boom, boom, boom. See, my things are hitting you all at once. And um, usually when that happens to me, I try to reflect. And see what, you know, try to examine my life. And then, um, you know, see if I'm um, the cause or effect of any of these things that are happening. And if that's not necessarily the case, then um, I know that it's some things that I'll just have to go through. You know, Jesus went through the wilderness. You know, he went in and came out. And so some things we just have to go, excuse me, some things we just have to go through. We can't get around it, can't get over it. We just have to go through it. But the key is to go through it and get out of it. So I'm in the midst of going through a couple of things. And I'll uh, possibly share at that appointed time. But for now, the scripture that the Lord has given me is once again, 2 Chronicles, uh, the 20th chapter and the 15th verse. And it says, he said, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the vast army for the battle is not yours but God's. Woo, hallelujah. That just like takes a load off of me. It says, don't be afraid and don't be discouraged because of the vast army. Well, you know, listen, spiritually, like I said, that vast army can be a number of things coming in your direction at one time. And you're like, Lord, what, you know, what's going on? What's going on, Father? What is going on? I got this coming at me. I got that coming at me. I got that coming at me. And, you know, sometimes it can be the enemy trying to block your blessing. Sometimes, you know, it's just the enemy trying to distract you, get you off track, you know. 
so that you won't stay focused. But I hear the Lord saying, this battle is not yours. Hallelujah. So the things that I'm going through and possibly the things that you're going through, if this word is for you, then you better grab it. This battle is not yours. Don't be afraid. Don't walk in fear. This coffee is so good. Y'all can hear my voice. I just got up. Don't be afraid. Don't walk in fear. Don't be discouraged. Whew, that's a key right there. Don't be discouraged. Because you know, when a whole bunch of stuff is coming at you, sometimes you just want to stay under those covers and just pull that cover over and just sleep. Like, oh my God. Because you know when you get up, you got to deal with that. You got to deal with that. You got to deal with that. But the Lord is saying, don't worry about it. Don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. The battle is not yours. And I'm smiling. I'm getting excited because that is res resonating in my spirit. But this is not my battle. This is not my fight. It's not mine. All the things that I'm going through is not mine. It is the Lord's. So I don't have to worry about it. He's going to take care of all of it. And so that's where I am today. I do hope you have a blessed day. I hope you have a purpose-filled life. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, post a comment, and hit the notification bell so that you can get this daily word every day. I'm, that's my goal every day. So I love you with the love of the Lord. That's that agape love. Stay blessed and remember what you're going through. The battle is yours. You don't have to fight, kick, or scream because God's got it. God bless you.